So I'm here at the GIST uh, competition with Rufi. Rufi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank Good. you so much. Can you I'm describe great. your idea? Okay, my idea is with lovefrom.me. It's a website for online flower bouquet and gift shopping. It is dedicated to flowers that bring smiles. Uh, actually, the problem or the idea came to me because, as you know, these days, life wastes itself as we are preparing to live. We are always in Egypt so stuck in our work that we don't have the time to express our feelings. And the typical Egyptian family can be spread all over the continents. You can find a family living in Egypt and their son is just working in the States and their daughter just married in another city. So such a family won't see each other. Okay, so I'm just trying to bond, strengthen the bonds between the people and the relationship and solving long distance relationship problems. So you're helping people connect throughout Egypt with this yes, flower yes. delivery actually, network, right? Yes, actually uh, the flowers market, online flowers market is still not done by an Egyptian local providers, you know, there is a lot of website delivering flowers to Egypt, but with very high costs because, uh, you know, like $315 for a bouquet, which is an accept unacceptable price for Egyptians to afford. And I just believe that every Egyptian should afford buying flowers. Flowers are just beautiful, you know. So how does it work? Um, do you partner with local flower shops and you set up the infrastructure or do you, how do you source the flowers? How do you deliver them? Uh, actually, uh, I'm not experienced in the warehousing uh, flower shopping, you know. So I'm just going to, yes, partnership with other local providers. And this is the edge I have because this is what cost, will, 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 will let my cost be cheaper because I will just supply the flowers from local providers. I have already talked to three of them in my hometown, Alexandria and Lee. They just thought that the idea is great and they are ready to supply me with the flowers and do the delivery for me. And I'm going to take commission for each bouquet supplied, uh, each bouquet that they sell uh, through me, through with love from me. So is it sort of like 1-800-Flowers in Egypt, like a similar idea? You... Yes, yes. I'm just, you know, it's uh, this business has been tried all over the world and uh, it proved to be successful. I just need to penetrate the Egyptian market. So there's nothing like this in Egypt? It's nothing like this with these affordable prices. And also I'm trying to innovate as much as I can, you know. I need, uh, I told you, I need to get to, bond, to strengthen the bond between the people. So I'm just uh, emphasizing about the group buying features, uh, notification features. I try to add more feature other than just a retailer, just an online flower retailer. So you've connected with some local suppliers in Alexandria. Do you have any sort of prototype for the website? Uh, it is currently under development. <coughs> currently, if you just type with lovefrom.me, you can just find a landing page where you can subscribe and leave your email so that you would be notified when we launch. We are currently developing the, the basic uh, minimal product. Do you think there will be more support for this after the revolution in Egypt? Yeah, sure. Actually, before the revolution, you couldn't have seen any of us <laughs> here because, uh, you know, we just didn't believe in this. We just we just thought that we nobody's listening to us like this. But with the revolution and, and what the youth did using the internet, uh, all the world watched that Facebook and the internet. Uh, Egypt is living the internet era where we connected through the internet. We said to each other uh, the real facts through the internet. So it's really people starting in Egypt, even the Egyptians starting really believing that it is the internet era in Egypt. That's why online businesses are starting to to get you know. Uh, they will be successful in the following uh, years because just people tried or started to trust buying online. Ah, so the people are starting to trust you yes, in terms yes. of e-commerce. Yes, that's true. And we have a lot of, you know, uh, we have a lot of successful startups just just started this uh, year after the revolution, uh, which are doing online businesses as well. And just people try. They are starting uh, getting used to using the internet and getting used to using a credit card or buying things online. They're just starting to, to use it. And uh, have you gotten good feedback at GIST? Yes, yes, it was a great opportunity for me. I couldn't have been here in Turkey without being a guest semi finalist. And yes, I have learned a lot from my mentors. You know, uh, one of my mentors, Dr. Jali, just, uh, she just. Uh, advised me that people love to hear, uh, you know, your like personal stories. Uh, if your idea is coming from a personal story, just people will just believe you and believe in you and that, believe in your passion. And also, um, people uh, don't need to hear lies. If you just don't know the answer, don't go and, uh, you know, just uh, create an answer. No, just say, it's not embarrassing to say I don't know. 
you just have to check it and say real facts that you are true about it. Yeah. Well, fantastic. I've met a lot of a lot of inspiring people. My 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 part, my other participants, my other co-workers, and all entrepreneurs from all over the world. This is really a great inspiring opportunity for me, and I'm happy to be the only finalist from Egypt. I really wish to. It goes good in the end. Yes, Mabruk, Mabruk. Um, I really hope to see what happens, and uh, I hope you'll continue with the idea after this. Inshallah. Thank you. Great. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. Thank you so much.